ice snakes. Why did it have to be ice snakes? And trust me, man, it wasn't as cool as it sounds. Guys, I'm sorry I got so worked up with the amunet around. It's okay. Yeah, and amunet did give us the Alnica metal projectile bomb. I still think it's our best bet at stopping Devo. We just need to figure out how to fire it. Yeah. Cisco, can you breach that thing? Me? No way. My energy field can't even reach outer space. Okay, well, we need to find another solution, and we need to find it before Devo launches those satellites. Well, actually, thanks to Ramon and the Council of Harrisons, we may have an idea about why Devo has not yet launched his satellites. He put himself in Devo's shoes. And I thought, well, if I was this ultra genius, moving around in a floating chair, how would I feel? You'd feel nothing. You'd be sociopathic. Mm. Right, but to me, I wouldn't consider myself sociopathic. Right now, all my actions would be driven by the one thing that I care most about, right? And so if you're not acting... If I'm not acting, then I don't have the one thing that I care most about. My wife. You guys need, need me to walk you through this? So this is... No, we, we, we get it here. It's kind of complicated, but okay, I'll take you at your word. Actually, that took a lot out of me. I'm gonna go have a nap. Well, we can work with that idea. Yeah, I will fire up the satellite and see if I can find Marlies. And I'll start figuring out how to launch this psychic dark matter-infused metal shrapnel bomb. <laughs> no big deal. Joe, do you want to get a cup of coffee with me before you go back to CCPD? I could use some caffeine after today. I know you don't get tired of hearing it, but... You were right. Wow. Not about Amy Nad, she still betrayed us. But she knew the truth about DeVoe, and she ultimately made a selfless decision to help us by giving us the projectile. And I, I do have faith in Central City Iris, because I know that at the core of every citizen of this city is something good. And I know they'll feel the same way when they read your article. Let's tell the team. Are you sure you want to do this? You, you want me to publish my article? Without a doubt. We're always stronger, better, together. Kiss me. Thank you. Uh, uh, this one's on me, I insist. Nice. What did I do to deserve that? That's for giving me the advice I needed, even when I didn't want to hear it. Well, when you raise kids, you get used to giving advice. So, I was convinced that that splicer technology was the key to getting killer for us back. But I was wrong. The splicer was just a placebo, and it tricked me into manifesting those somatic results that I wanted. You learned that from Amunet? Mm-hmm. I thought the answer was in science, but it was never going to be there. So what now? I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to look in a completely different direction. The key to finding Killer Frost is it's not out there. It's in here. Mm. Paris, what's happening? Mary? What? It's the city. What? I posted my article and they're responding. What do you mean? They believed you? More than that. They want to help. Look. <laughs> this guy says he saw Devo on 5th and Knoll two days ago. Yeah, and another guy on Crescent and 10th. This is great. Iris, this means Devo can't hide from us anymore. Hey, this is Eliza Taylor. Catch an all-new episode.